one of the big points about this throw is that I got to trap his arm in sort of my bicep and lock it in there. And with the jacket, of course, it's a lot easier because I'm holding on to the jacket here and locking him. Now we do the same throw in Greco-Roman, but in Greco-Roman, I grip here and I grab his arm, but his arm and my arm are both slippery. So in theory, it should be a little easier to do it in Judo, but of course, I'm terrible at Judo, so, you know, it balances. Much of the judo training involves doing these drills where we walk the length of the very long training hall, repeatedly doing the technique. Now, Lukai is much more advanced than me, and he can do them so fast. So far, I've only worked on about five or six judo throws, and we just do them over and over every day uh, until I get them right. This is my absolute favorite judo throw because it's the only one I'm any good at. Normally in MMA training you would think driving your head into your opponent's armpit is a bad idea because he'll get guillotine choked, but as long as you control his arm, you can do it. He can't choke you and you drive your head way in and you lift him with your neck, your back, and your legs. <laughs> Whew, that is probably the most strength intensive exercise in Judo. The interesting thing is, in wrestling we have the same technique, but we almost can't do that drill because you can't grab their arm like that. <laughs> so uh, being able to hold on to the jacket and lift him, we're still using the strength, which I like, I like to be able to use my strength, but then having the benefit of having that jacket to grab onto. Now, if I could do it in a real match, that's the real question. For each judo throw, we do four round trips across that long room. Tacho oh. Shoshisha told me to rest. He doesn't need to tell me two times. When I first started learning Judo, I was trying to get him to spar with me all the time. Part of it because I was curious about how sparring works in Judo. But what I realized was I wasn't learning Judo. I was just learning to wrestle with the Judo uniform on, which isn't the same thing. I wasn't learning technique. So then we stopped sparring and he's been teaching me technique, which is, I guess, really the right way to learn it. Probably when you learn Judo, that's how you learn. Uh, now we do some sparring drill, but it's not about throwing. It's just about grabbing. He's teaching me to grab, grab the clothes, and fight out of it when somebody grabs your clothes and how to grab their clothes. And, and it's like sparring, you do like, like three minutes on, one minute off. It's, a, it's really, it's, it's good. It's, it's uh, cardio intensive, it's strength intensive, but I'm learning the techniques about grabbing. And that's, I guess, the first step before you would start actually sparring. <laughs> <laughs> I outweigh this guy by more than 10 kgs and I still can't hold his wrist for more than like two seconds. Now, if you really want to see pathetic, watch him holding my wrist and me trying to escape. I can't do it. It's like some kind of wild animal sank his fangs into the meat of your forearm and won't let go. Using a small wrist and elbow motion, Lukai shoves his hand first forward and then jerks it back and it comes instantly out of my grasp. Mm. But it's not so easy to do. Mm. Okay. One of the things you always need to remember in judo is that when you make a big movement, if you jerk this way or that way, your weight's going to go that way, you're going to be off balance, and you can get thrown. Okay. Okay. Look, look at look at my sleeve. Look at my <laughs> sleeve. How big that is. Look at look at his sleeve. Look at that. That's my teacher in New York. He made me buy a big big uniform. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at that.
Lukai does all these small, perfect movements. And he's able to escape easily. And he doesn't use a lot of energy. But they're like impossible to learn. I keep trying to do it, but I can't do it. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe I don't need to learn judo. Maybe I could stop. Lots of people have lived long and fulfilling lives without judo. Perhaps I could be one of them. One of the problems with this is that you've got to pull with enough strength to jerk the sleeve out of the guy's hand, but without throwing your own balance off. So that's a lot of it. I think in a match, like, they'll grab your sleeve, and if you do a big motion to pull back, they're going to throw you. So you just say, well, yeah, well, yeah, come water, water tees on, water paint on. Anyway, well, tie on the apply. This is repeatedly a problem I keep having with judo. I wrestle slowly. I don't know that I would say wrestling is a slow sport, but I wrestle slowly. I use a lot of power and slowly, slowly, slowly crushing in on the opponent or slowly, slowly, slowly pulling away, using a lot of, a lot of force. And in judo, you know, you just want to see quick, quick, quick movement. Also, the rules of judo, you're not really allowed to stay in a sta stagnant position very long, so they will probably separate you. So it was a nigga go down, nigga go down, we don't know no more joke. So all you get done is one. No more joke. So you will gang on gals with comments. Anyway, look what was it just a slide job of fun. Me, me, draw a little cookie. Let go of me! Sports University, I get good training because I have really good uh, training partners, teachers. Uh, different from a school, though, a judo school, is that everybody here is a black belt. And everybody here is at national, international level in terms of competition. So, I don't know how much experience they have starting with somebody that doesn't know anything um, and not blaming them at all. I and mean, a lot of it is just because I keep trying to rely on wrestling and other things and, and probably jumping the gun and skipping steps in, in, in my learning. So that's, that's also affecting my learning with judo. I find it insane though that I can't hold on to the sleeve at all. He can just pull away whatever he wants to and when he grabs my sleeve, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I just, I just can't get out. So. Yeah, I guess hopefully with time, I will master these angry pajamas. In judo, I'm not allowed to continue fighting in this position because my back hit the ground as soon as I was thrown. I'm so new to judo, you'll see I don't move like a judo guy. And the things I'm trying to do with my upper body are sort of wrestling locks, body locks, arm locks. Still learning, learning, learning. When they throw me down, it's all MMA. want to keep fighting. We'll see. Mm! Oh, he 
don't play. Do it. I forgot, it's not Greco Roman. <laughs> Judo footwork is very different from wrestling or MMA. He seems to slide his feet around on the ground rather than lift them so that he won't off balance himself. And every time I grab him, I push him, I pull, I whatever, I'm just leaving myself open to being thrown. I call this one the equalizer.